Hey guys, it is Rachel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is featuring some of my favorite products that I have bought off Amazon. I really, really love watching these kind of videos because I am an online shopper. I live in a small town that doesn't have a lot of options. So buying offline, offline? Buying online is, I don't want to say a necessity, I think that that's insensitive of me to say, but I do it a lot. I do it a lot. We do have two day shipping, we just don't have a lot of things here in town. So I'm going to show you some of the things I've bought off Amazon that I consider favorites. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you my larger purchases in kind of like a vlog style so that you can see how I use them, not just what I bought. Uh, I think that that would be more beneficial to you if you saw how I have them in my home rather than just here I bought this. Look, I want you to see this is how I use it. Let me know if you like that kind of thing or if you would just rather see pictures and I I, I don't mind. What uh, You're the one watching it. <laughs> I'll do it however you want. I don't mind either way. So okay, let's get started. Let's start with um, beauty because that's what most of my channel is about. Okay, this is closest to me. It is dirty. I really need to wash this. This is a Wet n Wild highlighter brush. It's P75. I didn't get this set and I should have when it came out. I was looking for this exact brush for highlighter for a long time and I don't... This exact like style um, where it's like pinched down here and then it fluffs out. I've seen it in other brands but it was really expensive. So I think I paid like six or seven, no, yeah, six or seven dollars for this. And I really love it and I do need to wash it. So I'm featuring this. This is my house for my single shadows. It comes with a mirror and you can stick these to the back of your shadows to make it magnetic if it's not. It comes with um, round ones and square ones depending on the size pan and I, I just keep them in there for now so that I don't lose them and I can tell you what this is but I can barely read it because it's like Alla, allure, allure, allure. I can't read that Al one Al one I will link this down below for you I thought this was gorgeous it's you know this like crocodile skin but it's iridescent and it really reminded me of the Jackie Ina palette which I don't own but um, I thought it was so pretty so that's why I bought it. This was like ten ten dollars I think? Ten dollars. I really I, I bought a lot of these Sydney Grace shadows but at the time Sydney Grace was not an empty palette. Now they do. But I don't regret this purchase. This is and this is really heavy duty. It's like it's not it doesn't feel cheap so I I think this is so cute. This is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream in the shade 23. There is a cop. You know, for such a small town, we have a lot of, a lot of cops with their sirens. Okay, I know that with Amazon purchases, when you're talking beauty stuff, you can get fakes, but this is not. I love this. I had the shade 21 and it was too pink for me, and this is perfect. I love the tone. It, it does kind of go on a little gray and then once you have it on your skin it it oxidizes a little bit and changes I guess I don't know I'm a makeup scientist oh so they, they I can't recommend this to anybody with a darker skin tone unfortunately their shade range is pretty uh, light this is an Asian beauty brand however and I don't think a lot of Asian beauty brands have darker tones available. I have two of these here because I wanted to make a point. This is the, it says Soft Emo and Kose. I think it is, the company is Kose and the name is Soft Emo. But anyway, um, this is an oil cleanser. This is, it's called CD Cleansing Oil. And then this is Deep. Now, I... I knew I was gonna run out of this pretty fast, so I ended up buying this. I bought this pink one before. They're all clear, this is just the bottle. But um, I can tell you, I would recommend that you get this. They're both $10. I would recommend you get the pink bottle and not the orange bottle if you are planning on using it to remove your eye makeup because this one does a great job, but this one burns my eyes. And 
it has a fragrance to it. I think, what did I say it was? It's like oranges. It's got an orange. It's, yeah. It's like fake orange. Orange fragrance in here. And it, I would wake up. It took me forever to figure this out because I was using several different products and an eye cream at the same time. And I would wake up and this is going to be disgusting. <laughs> So if you have like, if you don't want to hear this, go ahead and just like skip ahead a few seconds. I would wake up and my eyes would be red and it would be like, you know how sometimes you wake up with an eye irritation and it's like your eyes are like a little goopy, like, ew. that's what that would be. My eyes would just reject. And I have sensitive eyes anyway. I never have the problem, that problem with this one. And let me see if there's a smell in here. I didn't think there, no, there's absolutely no fragrance in this at all. It smells like nothing. nothing. So I can recommend this to you. I can't recommend this to you. I bought it because I wanted to try it. It said it is a deep cleanser and I wanted to try it and see what the difference was. Well, there was a difference. This is new to me. I just got this a few days ago. I saw this. I like, okay, let me see. I don't, I don't tend to go on BuzzFeed for like news information. I do like to, they have um, a lot of online shopping recommendations that, and, 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 and they feature Amazon a lot that I like to read. And this is the finishing hair cream that they, it's, it, it, first of all, it's like a hair mascara. It looks exactly like that. I don't know if this is gel or what this sorcery is, but you literally, ew, sorry. Ah. So I know that some people love that kind of sound, like that's what ASMR is. <laughs> I only like specific kinds of ASMR and I don't like that. So you just kind of like put this in your hair and brush it back a little and um, it finishes off the hair. I don't understand why it's different than gel or um, hairspray. It's probably something to do with the wand I do kind of get it tangled a little bit if if I have an updo you can't like rake it through but if you just kind of like finish it on top in small strokes it'll keep your hair where it is and I did this yesterday with my little like antennas that I call them and it stayed all day I have been looking for a flyaway solution for a really long time and I found it these are nail polishes and no I'm not wearing any Nail polishes from Cirque Colors. I only have two so far, and I do plan on adding to my collection. Um, this is the shade Bowery, and this is Subculture. This is a, a holographic one. I love these nail polishes. I can't quit talking about them because I am super rough on my nails. Super rough. And every brand of nail polish and every technique I've ever tried doesn't compare to these nail polishes. 10 bucks each and they dry, I, doing this in like thin layers is really the best only because they, if you do it in thin layers, it dries really fast. This is not an instant dry because I've had those kinds of nail polishes and those kinds of nail polishes they tend to flake faster than everything else i don't know what's so unique about this formula but it's my favorite formula ever ever you can buy this on amazon they also have an etsy shop and their own website i will link all three of them down below for you these are stud earrings that they're marbles which i know they match what i'm wearing today but i kind of felt like that was like too redundant <laughs> Uh, I only paid like three dollars for these. No, a dollar something. Three dollars with like shipping. Um, I don't remember if this was on Prime or not. I don't think it was. And I thought, okay, well this is only a little bit. I kind of expected it to be pretty crappy, to be honest, because most like really cheap stuff on Amazon is not that great. I was wrong. This is pretty well made and some of my favorite earrings. Ever. I keep doing this. Why? I don't understand. And my last thing is going to be, oh, guys, I still have a swatch on. Why didn't you tell me? This is my silicone wedding ring, I guess you could say. I'll show you really closely what that looks like. It's three different ones that are stackable. It's by the 
brand knot theory. It comes with a bonus ring sizer for you to find your perfect ring accurately. They only sell silicone rings usually in full sizes. And I think what they suggest is that you go down a size. So I'm in between a seven and an eight in women's ring sizes. I'm pretty closer to a seven, like I'm like a seven and a fourth, I think. And so I got a seven. And this is amazing, this fits great. An eight would have been way too big and would have come off. I chose these colors because I felt like this was like, it's like a uh, grayish brown, a, a turquoise and a cream. I felt like this was really grounding and very earthy. And I fell in love, not only with the packaging, cause look at how cute that is. It really shows off the ring really well, does it not? But um, they're muted and I just felt like, you know, I have a wedding ring, don't get me wrong, and it's very flashy, and it's very brilliant, and it's beautiful. Here's the thing. My husband and I both have wedding rings, and we don't wear them every day. Like, we wear them for special occasions, and that's pretty much it. Not only do we not want to lose our wedding rings, but if I'm just running errands, I don't want to put on my wedding ring. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. It's big, though. It's like bulky it, it this is super comfortable I can't even tell I forget that it's on my hand and this was originally these three they were uh -oh, I dropped it the, oh well they were originally I think $20 and then they had like a 30% off coupon I ended up paying like $13 for this um and I think with my husband it was a different brand I think we got I don't know how to say it Coelho Kalo because there was no there's no you he is a pilot and so he can't wear his wedding ring to work like to work but he doesn't just fly the plane you know he, he's an instructor so he can't safely wear his wedding ring when he flies because there is a really significant chance that something not so nice that I won't describe here will happen to his hand should he get into trouble with it so a lot of pilots will wear silicone bands to work and I thought this is perfect for me because for the everyday thing, like wearing a wedding band, I don't want to wear mine washing dishes, washing my hands, which we're all doing much more frequently these days. It just, I don't, it feels funny. This feels great. So this was a great purchase. I thought this was amazing. Not from Amazon, but I wanted to include this because I don't showcase this on my channel very often. These are glasses from the brand Zenny Optical. What you do is when you go to get your eye exam, if they write down your prescription for you, which, um, you know, I'm military, so I have TRICARE, so they don't give you glasses. They give you prescriptions. So eye care, eye, eye glasses is not included in TRICARE Prime, but the, you know, the eye exam is free. You get one a year. So they, they hand you my, they handed me my prescription on a piece of paper. So what I did online was I entered my prescription in with the frames and they will send you your prescription frames. You can get bifocals, you can get, um, oh, the kind that fade, you can get sunglasses, prescription sunglasses, you can get all, all kinds of stuff. I, I've used Zenny and I've used Firmu before. I think Zenny Optical has a larger selection of different frames, however, and but then theirs are kind of a little, they, they can be a little more expensive if you, should, if you choose, but I liked Zenny just because they had the frame it wanted. Um, I find, I, I got, clear ones. I usually, I don't wear contacts because my eyes, like I said, are very sensitive and they could not handle any contacts. I, in college, tried all kinds of, I think I ended up trying seven different materials of contact lenses and my eye, I could feel all of them in my eye, every single one of them. Even the kind made for astigmatism, which is what I have, I could feel them. Coffee break. So, I quit wearing them, but I really needed them, especially in college for class. I couldn't see <laughs> the board. I can never remember, you guys. If I can't see far away, am I nearsighted because I can see near? Is that what I am? I get them so confused. They should have called it something different. Okay, anyway, 
I've bought them from, from Zenny before and I have these other pairs that I really like but they don't have anti like light reflecting coating. I, I went cheap and I regretted that. So this time I ended up getting clear because I wanted to be able to continue to show off my makeup looks and I can't hardly tell that I have glasses on with these. I mean I have glasses on but you know you know when people wear glasses you kind of if they have a darker um, frame on your that's where your eye goes and I feel like with with clear ones that's not the case personally. I also really like that they offer um, etching on the side here. I have my initials on the side etched in. I don't think that this is going to last forever. The etching is probably going to wear off eventually, but I think the etching was free. So I put my initials on here in pink and I thought that was a really cute touch. I ended up, these frames were $5. So how this works is you pay for the frame and then you pay for the lenses and anything extra that you wanted. So I ended up getting $5 frames with my prescription with the anti-reflective coating and the etching and I I want to say the etching was free it could have been a couple dollars and I ended up with shipping paying 20 bucks for these glasses so I wanted to make anybody aware that's not aware that is a glasses wearer um, like my mother-in-law was talking to me about it when she came to see us last time and she's telling me that she paid $360 for her glasses and I'm like, I paid 20 bucks for these and these are perfect. You can, I love them. I do wear them every day, all day if I'm not filming. So let's go and see what other kinds of like home things that I have that I bought off Amazon that I would like to recommend, recommend to you. <laughs> so I completely forgot to mention that I had shoes and clothes over here that I got off Amazon that are my favorite. This is Blowfish. They're both Blowfish Malibu. Um, the sneakers and I don't know what kind these are, but they're so cute. I've featured them in videos before. I just wanted to tell you I forgot and <laughs> that they're here. I also have two things of clothes that I didn't tell you about. This is a t-shirt. If you haven't figured it out yet, I love Leopard. I was super surprised by this. This doesn't even have a tag on it. So I have to like Double guess myself. Oh, there's the front. <laughs> See what I mean? No tag. Also, um, this sweater that I got off Amazon. Um, I was kind of iffy about getting clothes off Amazon sometimes, but these two turned out to be great. I wanted to show you uh, my lighting setup that I have here. I got all this off Amazon as well. These are two box lights and a ring light, which I'm going to upgrade to a bigger, nicer ring light eventually, but right now this one does a great job. Plus it has, you can put your phone or whatever that you want on it as well. And it's such a nice day outside. Okay, so while we're making the rounds, this is a vacuum cleaner. I actually did end up getting off Amazon. Uh, we got a gift card for Christmas for Amazon and we needed a vacuum cleaner. And so we didn't spend it on things we wanted, we spent it on things we needed. This is a clean view swivel for pets. I'm sorry about the uh, gunk in there. I did dispose of it, but then I think I cleaned a little area and there's stuff left. Um, I don't actually have pets, but I do have a baby and I wanted something with like, if you can get out pet stuff, you can get out baby stuff. Plus I'm postpartum. And what that means at the moment is that I lose hair at an alarming rate. So I wanted something that was going to be able to pick up all the hair that I drop all over the place. And it does a great job. This is an amazing vacuum cleaner. And it's not that expensive. It's, it's like the best non-Dyson vacuum cleaner I think they've got reviews for. So that's that. That's enough of that nastiness. We won't look at this anymore. So what this is, um, never mind my, my child's pack and play. It's still there from a trip we went on. Um, here is the, I guess it's a coffee bar, you could say. I ended up getting this for Christmas as well. Um, you've got, you know, my K-cup stand, which this is for like, when we're going out the door because if you can see I have refillable k-cups which I use a lot of the time but if we're in a hurry we tend to just use those anyway I have a coffee uh, pot and then in my Keurig 
And then I keep my like bagged copy here and my tea under here. And then you can see my crock pot, my instant pot and my toaster. Um, I wanted an area for coffee. I just think they're cute. <laughs> this is made out of really good material. It's wood and it's not like it's really sturdy. It's it's actually really good quality. And it is the brand not Iron Mr. Ironstone. I will go ahead and link that below for you. Um, and also uh, this calendar thing uh, holder. My grandmother actually got that for me. Now it only holds this specific brand of calendars. They're really this is not universal, and they're really weird um, in terms of their dimensions. But this is my grandmother in a nutshell. She has one of these in her kitchen. She has this kind of calendar in her kitchen. She bought me this calendar, by the way. Uh, it's not the one that we use to write on and schedule on or anything like that. But um, it it's a, it's a homage to my grandmother. So I, I can find that for you and link them for you down below if you think that's cute. Also, um, speaking of grandmothers, this clock here. Side note, let's do a side note. You can't get this off of Am Amazon because this clock is like 40 years old, I want to say. It's 30, 40 years old because it was in my other late grandmother's kitchen while I was growing up. And I, I didn't choose any of her possessions when they passed. I didn't choose anything else other than the kitchen clock. And so now I have both of my grandmother's essences in my own kitchen okay before i start crying we're gonna move on okay so this is a i'm sorry about the sound in here i'm in my bathroom but um this is a jewelry holder and the lighting in here is not the greatest either that i found on amazon i was really tired of what i had and so i found this one and i really like it you can see that i put the necklaces down here and then there's a space for bracelets and and um drop earrings is that what they call them but then I put the um, studs just up here as well I needed something to organize what I had and um, I don't think that it was it was like I don't remember how much it was I don't think it was worth the price but it does the job very very well so I just nailed it I didn't put I didn't anchor it or anything because I don't have really heavy jewelry um, yeah, <laughs> so I use this in my bathroom because it's close. I didn't want to put anything in my um, office over here where I, just, I film because my husband and I share that as a space. And so I put it in the bathroom and it's easy access when I'm getting ready and I enjoy it. Uh, this is also a weighted blanket that I own. Um, so thing is, my husband and I don't share comforters on the same bed. We use different ones so that we don't fight over them in the middle of the night. Uh, I have a weighted blanket. I will tell you that I do have trouble sleeping, uh, insomnia, and anxiety. So I got this for Christmas. It is really, really heavy. I think it's like a 17 pound one. It's hard to move. Um, but I really like it. It's, it, it envelops me when I sleep and, um, I, I don't know if it lets me sleep better. I, I've slept better since I've had it. I can tell you that much. It I have another um, blanket underneath it, though, because it doesn't keep me very warm. However, it does feel very safe and secure, if that makes any sense. But I got it off Amazon, and I will link it down below for you. All right, friends, those are my Amazon favorites that I have compiled for your entertainment. If you like this kind of video and you want to see more favorites of mine in the future from Amazon when I've gotten more things off Amazon, give this video a thumbs up to let me know you want to see me do it again. And I will because I'm here to entertain you guys. <laughs> Go ahead and subscribe before you leave. Stick around on my channel and see what other kinds of videos I have for your YouTube entertainment pleasure. Stay kind to yourself out there today, folks, and kind to others. Wash your hands. Social distancing. <laughs> I will catch you guys later.
Thank you.